Informa has acquired B2B events group Tarsus in a deal valued at $792 million. Tarsus CEO Douglas Elmsley tells us why the deal was done now and what this means for the business going forward. Well, it gave, it gave us a surprise to us. I mean, they, they, they approached us at the end of January and that, um, you know, there was no process um, which would be usual, you know, when private equity looked to sell a business. A, a former approached us uh, at the end of January. We had four days of very intense discussions um, in terms of agreeing a price. Uh, we, got, we got to a structure of a deal that we were happy with. Um, and then we had five weeks of very, very intense um, due diligence and we announced the deal on the 9th of March. Um, so um, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a long sort of discussion, it wasn't a long period, but you know, Informa have known us and we've known them for a long time. We've had previous dances on the floor, if that's the way to put it. Um, and this time it consummated. Um, they, they've always wanted to buy us. Uh, I think, I mean, I'm on record as saying I always thought they ultimately would be the best home for us. Um, I think the cultures in particular, I think, are, are, are a good match. Geographically, we've got similar footprints. Um, and there's very, I mean, the portfolios are really complementary rather than sort of, you know, big crossovers. Um, so it, it really is a, a good fit. Um, and I think in terms of what we can add to our customers, particularly around digital and data, I mean, I think they are the leader um, and there's, there's a lot we can do quickly for our business adopting what they're doing and using their infrastructure to grow the portfolio quite quickly. And I understand there was, there was no real bidding process and it was kind of based on a lot, a lot around shares as well, rather than just yeah. cash. Was there any reason behind that? Well, the, the the, the, the share component was, was, was sort of a critical part of the deal for us because the big cloud that got removed really at the beginning of January was the China reopening. You know, we've got 25% of our business in China and former we've got a large Chinese business as well. And once China reopened, that was the last cloud in terms of, you know, the pandemic, everything is now open. Uh, and we're going to see recovery come through in the next, you know, 18 months or whatever that, that period is. So we, we're not fully recovered and former not fully recovered. And therefore, to play that recovery, getting shares in the combined business was really important because we see that recovery for our own business, but also for an informer. So taking the shares allows us to get exposure to, to that recovery. Um, so it's not about the value today, it's about what we see the value of informer shares actually in the next couple of years. Um, so that was critical because we, we think that there, there, there's lots of upside in informa. Um, and, you know, that, that I think was probably the key thing that got the deal done um, was, was the structure in, in, in terms of being able to get that upside of the recovery. Have you had any sort of feedback from the public or your audience yet? And what have you kind of noticed from what people have been saying? It's been really positive in terms of our customers. Uh, I mean, I think they, they get the fact that actually this should add to our offering with their infrastructure um, and especially around the digital and data things that we, we can actually add more uh, value um, to the customer. Um, in terms of our partners, stakeholders, you know, everybody's been really supportive. Um, I mean, I'm just about to go to a town hall uh, with our, our staff. Um, I mean, obviously, it's, it's, it's come as a surprise to them um, because, it, you know, people would have thought, as, as I did, it would be probably a couple of years before we would actually, you know, be in this position. Um, but actually, we're going through that sort of communication process. You know, we've sent a lot of information to the staff. We've had town halls and individual conversations uh, last week. Um, today, it's really introducing Stephen Carter and Informa. Um, you know, allowing our teams to hear directly from from him as to why are Informa buying us, why do they see us as attractive business, and actually, what does the future hold? What's the culture like? What's the opportunities? Because um, I think when big change comes in a business, people instantly go, "What does this mean for me? You know, is this good? Is it bad?" And then actually, people begin to actually get more rational about it and understand it. Uh, and we're going through that process at the moment in, in terms of people understanding it, because we've got a little bit of time. I um, mean, the transaction will you know, take a couple of months to actually complete because of regulatory filings, uh, particularly in the US. 
and then in, inform our, our our very respectful of you know our business, our relationships, and uh, that actually this is a people business, it's a relationship business, and they want to take the time in terms of discovery of you know what's important, how they combine the business, make the right decisions, and don't come in like other big corporates do and actually just get rid of a lot of people and don't actually really understand what they're doing. They want to take that time to, to really understand the business and understand, you know, the human aspects and how it all fits together. Um, and they're going to do that over the course of the rest of the year. So we won't actually combine into Informa and be Informa until the 1st of January next year. So I, I think they're being very intelligent about how they're doing it and being very careful about it, um, which again was one of the other reasons that, you know, in terms of doing the deal with Informa, we thought they were going to be a good owner rather than someone who was just going to come in and slash and burn. And you've known Stephen for around 20 years, is that right? You used to work About together. 10 years. 10 um, years. Yeah. That kind of made the deal any easier for you then, sort of, you know, at yeah, yeah, level. Yeah, it, it, it has, you know, you know, having those personal relationships, having the trust, I think is, it, is very important. And, you know, Informa has got a reputation of being a proper company, behaving properly. That comes from the leader. It comes from the top in terms of, you know, ethics and integrity. And, you know, you've got to trust when you go into these processes that, that, that that's going to happen. And, you know, that for me was a critical part of why I wanted to do the deal with Informa. Uh, that I knew that the business would be treated with respect. I knew that the people would be treated with respect. Um, and, you know, the fact that, you know, very quickly after doing the deal, he wants to speak to our staff. On the day he sent everybody an individual letter, you know, he he is very keen, um, you know, to to speak to the, the people as much as he possibly can. And then, and he's running, you know, a, a ten billion pound business, you know. Um, but actually, this is really important. The people are really important, you know. And you know, this is just not a a big faceless corporate whose boss is. Um, and that's why today is really important. You know. People put a face to it, and, and they hear directly from him. Um, you know, every, everybody's got you know the same worries and fears, um, and it's it's good that actually you can talk about them openly. And and you know he will take any questions that anybody's got. And yeah, finally, so sort of what are you um, what are you most looking forward to as part of the day? What are you most excited for? Looking forward to working for, working with that informer. I, I'm really excited in actually taking the business t to the next level. And, and that is around, I mean, we've talked a lot about it in the industry about, you know, we can't purely be, you know, a trade show business that just sells square meters to, to an industry. We've got to do a lot more. And, and a key part of that is actually the difference, mainly digital, I think. and. And, and the data side as well, we've got to be a lot more sophisticated in understanding the behaviours, what people are trying to do, really be part of that community rather than just actually once a year or every other year to sell something to the community. We, we, we've, got to, we've got to be deeper within the community. And, that, and that's what digital and data allows us to do.